Okay, part 41. Still have to be a little quiet because it's 2 in the morning. Um. Not sure what I'm doing right now. I just got a Jinjo from the Windy Cave, and like always, I'm just generally confused by the icy side. Yep, I don't get it. I'm gonna go see if I have enough notes for gliding, if I could find the way back. I'm just going to the fiery side. Better things are there. I forgot what's in here. I'm pretty sure it's a train station. I need to go find the train switch so I can, um, have Gobi feed Chuffy. My retainer is stupid and I hate it. Um, what? How do I get out? I hate swimming in N64 era platformers. Okay, so... I really do not remember how to do anything here. I'm going to assume I'm supposed to go down to the Colosseum for some reason. And only the upper area of the Colosseum has anything to do, so that wasn't it. Well, anything to do if you don't like horrible, long, stony minigames. Actually, I'm gonna just take a chance and see if I have glide enough notes for. Actually, that, um, 20 note deal probably got me enough. Why does Kazooie only have 5 health? Whoops. And that's why you don't use Kazooie with Super Banjo on, on icy areas. I hope the mic is picking up my, um, retainer sounds. Cause those might be almost as good as that time I had gum. Okay, so the not ability to, um, do whatever the ground pound move was is really hurting me here. Okay, that time I blame lag. There's like, I can't tell if it's lag or just the game hates me. Probably the game hates me, but at least now I don't have to bother climbing back up. Well, I guess I would just use the warp pad on the bottom, but whatever. Wait, how is the lower one Mumbo? Mumbo isn't close to any of the warp pads here. That 
was almost as good as how you couldn't use um backpack attack. Actually, I forgot what it's really called, but that was a great name for a move. Even if it was a bit redundant, because every single move Banjo has in any game where you can play is just Banjo is nothing but his backpack. And I like how you can get that without um actually gliding if you have Super Kazooie turned on. That wasn't very much of a fall. This game is a little morbid here. Eh, misplaced my husband. Okay, skip. Skip. Okay, so I have no real reason for going in here right now, but, um, I want to watch the Mr. Pants show. <laughs> Took forever to... Yes. Okay, so the ambient noise here is upsetting me. I'm gonna go free that weird guy from some old game I never played. There, I freed that for Mumbo later because I totally plan on doing that in this part of the playthrough. Or, let's play, but whatever. I know what I meant. How do I... I'm confused. Do I need Banjo to, like... Banjo him out of it. I'm going to assume it wants Banjo for some reason. Um. Glide is the most horribly broken thing in the game. I would say it makes Kazooie, like, ridiculously better than any other possible playable character, but the fact that Banjo's pack whack completely breaks everything, um, sort of negates that. Okay, yes, I want... Why can't I pay for it as just Kazooie? This is probably gonna kill me. Wait, I know that won't pay for either. just Kazooie. That would be neat. I guess it needs Banjo's weight or something, which is the only thing he's really good for. And now I just thought about something that really annoyed me as a kid, how it's even p remotely plausible that there are switches in the game that can only be pressed by Banjo or Kazooie. I mean, I could understand a Banjo-Kazooie switch not working with just um banjo or just kazooie but i mean i guess having a set weight is possible but what why are yeah like i keep saying video game logic isn't very hilarious So this video is almost out of time, I didn't exactly do anything. Well, I guess I did get Glide and a Cheeto page, but those aren't really anything. Um...
I guess I'll just go pay Mumbo and Wumba and get that done with. Can I do that in the next 15 or 20 seconds? Uh, maybe Mumbo. Okay, because you guys know how much I love um, interrupting cutscenes, that's the end of this part.